Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to sh I like to show you that how to disassemble this Ford cars, this door lock system. What uh, what all parts are this inside cabin area opening switch? What this looks like in that that and then there is wire what comes in this door lock system and this is this this. Uh, door lock system what takes contact in this uh, this car body and then when we look in that side we can see that there is this electric door lock system also in here okay good okay and then I start to disassemble this part okay and this I open now I take this plastic cover out and there is idea that that when we when we look that part there is Phillips screws one in here one in here and I start to open and now I need small screwdriver what is Phillips Phillips or then this flathead what I have and now I open that screw and there is that kind of small screw in there and then second one is in here and I open that screw also okay and now this part is in three and then I remember that there is still one screw or actually it was all and this is like plastic cover what we need to open first and there was then this two that kind of small grooves and then I move that part in here and then when we look in that area in this door lock first look there is Ford logo and then we look in that area there is this door handle switch and there is this electric cable what goes in here and I take that part firstly out so that I press this area and then I lift up that area and then look there is there is this that white area this is this electric motor and next I I saw that I have already it is possible to open so that we open that that and that screws and then there is one screw in here and I start to open this bolts in here that I open that screw first And then, then there is next, next screw is it in here. And then next is in here. Okay, and then, then this, there is, it is quite, and there is one, Screw, I believe that it is it is in here. Here is next screw. Now I need Phillips head screwdriver and I open that screw in here. Okay and now this part moves more and then there is similar Phillips bolt in here and these bolts are easy to open okay now, now these screws open and now this electric motor is in, in, in here free and this is interesting thing and there is one screw in here left what I open that way and this is plastic box and this is actually really really funny system because now now I managed to open that there is that kind and there is this part and this part is like like some some small Lego Lego or some train train what is this metallic toy train electric motor if we have this this uh, 
big. Now I take that away. And, and here is this electric motor. And this is actually same size what we have those small uh, toy toy trains and and those uh, riders. And this this system works so that when we have this electricity, here is this cable, and it comes in that position. And there is four of those connectors, and there is those electric these copper lines and then when this electricity comes in these two parts this motor start to run and it needs needs this electricity in those two small points and then this is so interesting that I like to test that how this motor runs because then when this motor runs there is the small part what is in here that part it belongs in this position and then this this screw moves in that side or in that side and then these bigger wheels in here moves and they moves that locking and closing system that's, that's this doors cars keep something like sure 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 sound because this system is moving and as you can see that these are plastic plastic parts and they, they move like in that way and in same way then when they move in this way and, and when they move in here this this system system opens and close this door lock and I take my better Tool that I can rotate that in that way and then this this part makes this move and then when this moves in here this this door system in here moves okay in that way and then then again this part moves and this small start motor moves this part what is in here and then I like to show that how this motor works because this is so interesting and let's look we can look that next okay and here is my car battery 12 volts and there is this uh, those leds and this is like this is this minus area and I have made two electric this wires and cables and I connect that in that area I have take this uh, plastic cover out and there is only this copper lead and then I use that like this are like weights and they keep this my cable in here and then I have also in that area also similar this is plus area and then I check that is this my battery in life and there is my tester and when I insert that that part in here and the second part in this plus area light should comes in here and light comes in here and that means that battery is okay and then we had this uh, our testing that how this Ford small like car train this uh, tractor motor works and it works so that there is two small holes in here in that area and in that area in these slots in what, where I am inserting this my screwdriver I need to insert these cables these cables in there and then this motor start to run I believe okay and first I insert that in here in, in that way there is this my motor and I insert that in there inside I can insert this that way and then I only need to do so that I don't insert these two cables in contact and now when I insert that in that yellow cable in here this my system this motor should start to run look and there comes this my 
like this. Yes, this is like toy mode. Okay, look in here also. Okay, and this is this is this Ford's Ford's engineering, and let's look at how the screwdriver is moving. Then I insert this electricity. Okay, and and this. This means that that this in that way this Ford's door locks works, and I believe that this motor is like small this uh, children toys motor similar. For and for that purpose, I think that I like to open that that we can check that what is the situation, and I use my my screwdriver. And I check that what is this Ford toy motors inside area. There is first this small coils. Yes, this is coil, and there is then this starter, this big part. Okay, and they looks and magnets are in there, and in that way this Ford door lock system works and and interesting. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and then we can look more this Ford's door mechanic lock system, and here is this switching switch what goes in here, and when we move that part, then this part in here moves in like that way. And now when I pull out it, it it pulls that out. That when I pull out that loop. It moves that part, and then when I lock this door in that way, look, it insert that door lock in. When I lock that, now, now lock is in. It moves that in. Okay, and then look closer. What happens in here? When I open that, it moves that part in here, and it it like opens. And then when I lock that, it moves that in down. And then when we look in that area, and when I am opening, this part moves in here, and that part, what is it moves? There is other purpose also, because this switch, what we have in here, this is like this front door. When we open our car in outside, that part moves in that way, and it moves this part up. In that way, and it moves that up, and then we can only. And this purpose is that when we move that in up, there is this front door system that works so that when door goes lock, this part comes in here, and then when we pull up this door handle, this part opens in that way. Look, now it's like door is lock, and then when I handle this part moves in here. Okay, and then the same idea when it is lock, and then when I move that switch in here, this part moves. Okay, well, and then, then we can look in here. That area, that there is really cable, what comes in this part when we are in inside, and this part comes in here, and in that position, this is interesting because we can replace this, this. Cable in that way, and then when I move that, I can take that out. I check that in what position it goes out. And one, one position I can move. It is possible to take out in this position. This is anyway possible to take out in here if we need to replace because there is this position point. And now I think that that how it happens is it I need my workbench. There is this my workbench and then I insert this my door lock in here. 
I, I fasten that in this position, in that way, and then there is this my cable, and then when I move that in this position, I believe that I... Okay, now, now it's possible to take out, and, and, and then when I return this back in there, it is in there. And then when I open that again, it is in here, and then when I move that in this way, in that way I can take this out. And again, back in there, and then, okay, now it's back. Okay, good. And then we look at our walk more. In that way works this cable system and when it pulls up this doors open and locks. And then we look at what is this white white area in there inside in that part. What is this part? And I think that I open that part so that I insert my screwdriver in here in that position and then I little bit bend that up and then I can see there inside what is in there there is this moving part in there in that position okay and then I, I decided that I I close that part also Okay, and, and then, then when I have installed that pack, we continue.